Hey, this is Greg Hendricks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to mirror animation using Motion Builder 2012. So we have a character here with some animation on him that we want to mirror. So make sure you have the take you want to mirror selected, and go to New Take. And it's going to ask you if you want to copy the data from the current take to the new take. Just click Yes. So now we have a new take with the same animation on it. And in, under the Navigator tab, go to Characters and double click the Character node for that character. And check the Mirror Animation option. And under Character Solver Selector, change it from HIK 4.5 Solver to the MB Character Solver. And now click this blue button over here and go to Bake Plot, Plot to Skeleton, and then Bake Plot plot to rig. And as you see we have the animation mirrored but it flipped the character around. So to fix this set the reference control and go to properties and let's rotate this 180 degrees in Y. Let's click play again and it flipped the character around again. And what's going on here is that we have keyframes on the reference control and that keyframe was set to rotate zero. So when we hit play again, that's going to override the value we just set over here. So if you have animation on reference control that you want to keep, you have to go to those keyframes themselves and rotate those 180 degrees in Y. But in this case, this keyframe was here by accident, so I'll just right click it and click delete. And now when we change this to 180 degrees in Y again and hit play, the character stays at the proper orientation and the animation is mirrored. But right now we have rotate values in the reference control. And if you want to zero those out, just bake plot, plot to skeleton, and zero out the rotation values. And go back over here under the character node and uncheck mirror animation. And then bake plot, plot to rig one more time. And now we have mirrored animation and clean rotate values for the reference control. So that's how you mirror animation manually, but I made a script that will do all those steps for you. So I have the same animation that we started with right here. And you just click mirror current take, and it will detect that there are keyframes on the reference control. And in this case, I want to delete those. And now I have the animation mirrored. And the way it works is you can use these this uh, hashtag current take hashtag keyword and it'll take the current takes name and add any prefix or postfix that you want to it and this value is the offset we want to rotate the reference control by and I'll put a link to where you can download this script from my website in the description so that wraps up this video thanks for watching